Hey there. And welcome back to my art life. I hope you're all doing well. Honestly, for me, not so much. I have been receiving negative comments for weeks now regarding my posts on crayon art, and I'll be sharing them with you today along with my thoughts about it. I never thought that an innocent art channel like this one would get comments like those, so it threw me off a bit and caught me off guard. I mean, is this really a thing now? Because it's just surreal for me, and I think it's absurd. I'm not sure if this sort of thing normally happens to art channels, so if you've had an experience like this, I hope you can leave a comment and let me know how you normally deal with it. Your comment would also give me much comfort because right now, I feel like I've been singled out, and it is all because I posted a picture of my art saying it was made using crayons. So I hope you can give me some advice on this, and share your experiences on these type of situation, and what did you do? Because I'm not sure if it was right for me to just ignore them. I just think it's the best way to deal with it so as not to add fuel to the fire, so to speak. I honestly don't get it, but, I was called out for making fake art. I don't understand how they came up with that conclusion just by looking at my post, where my artwork is shown alongside crayons. I'm just thinking that maybe they've also tried using crayons in the past, and it didn't work out for them. Crayons do have a reputation after all, for being hard to use due to it being too waxy. I'm also assuming that they may not be an artsy person so they don't understand the potentials of art mediums and have always thought that crayons can only be used by kids in making doodles, and that it is impossible to come up with a decent artwork. These are my presumptions on why they said what they said. This is also the reason why I think that this is the perfect time to post this video. It is to show them that my posts are real. That I really made those artworks with just crayons. I was thinking. Maybe they didn't believe it the first time because it was a photo. And maybe now they would think otherwise, since this is an actual video where I show the process from start to finish. This is the proof that what I do is real. As for the comment that mentioned that I am not a real artist, I really don't know how to respond to that. Because last time I checked, art is for everyone. You can draw anything you like, whoever you are, and whatever form your art may take, it doesn't matter. Your imagination and creativity is the limit. If the person's definition of a real artist is someone who makes art for a living as a profession, then I would say I am not one then. Making art is not my day job. I do it as a hobby. I just enjoy making art and drawing whatever comes into mind. It's my way of expressing myself. I've also received a comment suggesting that I should stop what I'm doing. And with that, I would like to apologize, I'm sorry. I can't stop, and I won't stop just because someone says so. Just as a line in a song goes, don't take nothing from nobody. Yes. I think that's the best thing to do. I'm enjoying art so much, and I won't let anyone take it away from me, or stop me, just because it displeases them. I love making art because it teaches me a lot of things and I also learn more about myself. I learned my capabilities and limitations. It taught me that new things can be learned if you put your mind to it. It gave me the virtue of patience, that things do take time and rushing things would result to either mediocrity or even failure to achieve the end result you set out in the first place. So each and every artwork I make is my journey in learning. Every artwork has value and meaning. So I'm not going to stop what I enjoy doing anytime soon. With all this, I'm also thinking of making a crayon art video where I'll let you in on the tips, tricks, and secrets on how I do it, so that you too can enjoy coloring with crayons. I'll go over the things that I do in terms of techniques and process so you would have a better understanding on how I am able to use crayons in my artworks. But please let me know if you're interested in seeing content like that, by liking this video. 
If I get around at least 50, or better, 100 likes, I'll make that video for you. And also, if you aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It would be a big help, and much appreciated. I'd also like to thank you for hanging on, and making it up to this point. I feel so much better that I am able to share these things with you. Have a great day and remember, don't let anyone tell you that you're not good enough. Stay awesome and keep on creating amazing things. I hope you enjoyed this video, and by the way, the artwork for today is my original character named Mia, from my original story, Magic Academy. If you'd like to hear more about Magic Academy and Mia's backstory, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.